so hot! <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Kristen. Wait, no, that's not how that goes. Take two! Hey everybody, it's Kristen here, and since it's Wednesday, I'm wishing you guys a happy Wednesday. I did not upload a video last week. I was sick. I'm still feeling a little bit under the weather, so I hope I don't sound too um, sick. But um, I'm here in my shed. It's 100,000 kajillion degrees. And um, I'm dying right now, uh, which is which is just great because I just I just I just love the month of June, don't you? No. Anyway, um, I just got home from work and I received a package, which is why I decided I'm going to film right here, right now at six o'clock at night. And that package that I received is known as the Dino Pet. Now, a little bit of backstory: I was browsing the interwebs on different items I could play with and test out and try to make things a little bit more interesting here in my little world. And one thing that I've always been curious of is um, sea monkeys. And sea monkeys aren't actually little tiny sea monkeys. They're actually a breed of brine shrimp, which made me feel really sad. While I was doing some sea monkey research, I stumbled upon the dino pet where basically they send you some little tiny prehistoric creatures and you put them in this dinosaur shaped container mixed with some water and other stuff and they're supposed to glow in the dark like this and um I thought they were prehistoric creatures but it turns out it's not it's microscopic plankton so again my dream was shattered so I received the box today this is the box that it came in it's wrapped up with tape that says Biopop which is the company that makes Dino Pet they also have something called Bloom, which is basically the same structure, except instead of a dinosaur container, it's a little tiny cube, and you can put flowers in it, and a bunch of cute stuff in it, and other things. It's really cute. But in the box, you get the box that I've been holding for the past three minutes, which is the Dino Pet dinosaur container. You also get your food. I can't read it. There's like no light in here. I am blinded. Um, you get your dino pet food, and in here you get your creepy creatures! This says, attention, open me right away, living dinos inside. There are, um, yeah. I'm just going to throw this out there. This freaks me out so much. There are living creatures in this container. I don't know what they look like. I don't want them to freak me out. They're probably going to freak me out if I see them. So this is the container, again, holding it like it's diseased. Um, this is the container of creepy little creatures that are supposed to glow. I guess we're gonna do this. I don't, I don't know. All right, creatures. I don't even know if they're still alive because it's like 5,000 degrees in here. All right, so I'm gonna open the, dio the, the, the dino pet box. I threw it and it comes back to me. It's, it's the world's lamest boomerang. Okay. You get a plastic dinosaur shaped container. Really cute, really, I don't know, dinosaur-y. Oh, you need like this, I don't have a coin in here. So this is, this is gonna be terrifying. Are there instructions? There are, I threw them on the floor. Okay, so after thoroughly reading the instructions, what you do, okay. I thought you needed water, so I brought water. What you do, you unscrew the plug under the dino. You take the creepy microscopic creatures and pour them in here like such. And then you put in the bag of food. You fill it as much as possible. I think I might have to give it a big girl squeeze. <laughs> okay, all right, okay, okay, okay. Guys, like this is so stupid that something like this freaks me out, but it does. And Okay, you don't even see anything. It's not, not that bad, okay. Oh my God, you can see it. I can literally see the creepy creatures. I, I can see them. Okay. I can't tell. They're, they're starting to move, this is so creepy. Okay, now that I seem to have calmed down because I did this, 
I filled it and then they say you give it a gentle shake. Just gonna shake it gently because I overfilled it so I'm just gonna shake it gently. Basically what happens is they react to your your touch. I don't know I guess maybe it's it's the heat or I don't know but they absorb the sun. They say do not put them in direct sunlight and room light is okay or sunlight through a window or some some like filtered sun but not like put it outside and be like, cook, little creatures, cook. Um, from what I read, these creatures are nocturnal, so um, they start to glow and react at night. I don't know, I'll see you soon. All right guys, I know it's late. I'm putting the dino pet here and it'll absorb the morning sun. This is night one and we'll see what it looks like tomorrow night. Okay guys, it's 11.30 in the evening and I'm checking, checking, I hate this, I'm checking on the dino pet. It was catching the sun all day today, so the instructions said it won't glow unless it's nighttime and it has to react to your hands. So I'm going to shut the lights off and you guys aren't going to see anything at all unless it wants to glow. They did say uh, it takes like two to three days, so might not be ready yet, but I'm gonna shut the lights off. We're gonna see what it wants to do. All right, the lights are off as you can see. That's my laptop keyboard, and here's the dino pet. So I'm just gonna come over here. There's no light, and I'm gonna shake it gently. Oh, it's reflecting from my computer. That was anticlimactic. All right, shaking it gently, holding it nice and warm in my hands. It's not making me very happy. I think they live like, I don't know what part of the ocean they live in, I don't know if they're like closer to the surface. In their little commercial product advertisement thing, it shows them like on, like, whoops, <laughs> on the, the surface of the water. So I'm trying to like mimic waves, like hold it. Nothing, nothing's going on. I hope I didn't burn the little guys. Okay, I'm gonna make the assumption that it didn't absorb enough sunlight, because the instructions did say sometimes it takes two days, so I'm gonna put it back in my windowsill and we will check on it tomorrow night. Okay guys, it is the second night and I'm checking up on the dino pet again. It was pretty cloudy today, so I don't think it got much sun, so I don't know if it was able to absorb any of that. The water is still pretty full. It's missing a little bit at the top. Um, I might put more food in because I'm really nervous this isn't gonna work. So I'm gonna shut the light off and I'm gonna play with it gently, you know, rocking it like it was in the ocean and hold it in my hands for like maybe three minutes or so. And then I'm gonna see if it glows and I really hope it glows. All right, light is off. Oh, it's reflecting against my 3DS now. Ugh. Okay, light is off. Shaking gently. It's not doing anything at all. What is that red light from? Oh, that's my freaking clock. Oh, I was like, I see a red light, that's new. All right, whoops. All right, uh, night two sucked. I'm really annoyed. I don't, I don't even know. I just, I'm so, so disappointed. All right, I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay guys, I don't really remember the background I used. The last time I did a video, I think it was black, because I know this red one is new. But this is night three of our little dino pet friend here. I'm really bummed it hasn't worked so far. I've kept it in my windowsill for as long as I possibly can. In my opinion, I don't see it working, but it's 10.30 at night here. It only glows in the nighttime, and it glows when it reacts to your hands. For the past like five minutes, I've been playing with it, holding it in my hand, trying to keep it warm. Um, so I'm gonna kill the lights, and we're gonna hope that this damn thing glows. All right, it's very dark and spooky in here. And it's in my hands. You can hear my rings. 
or touching it. This is not some ASMR crap. Gently rocking it. Nothing, absolutely nothing. This is depressing now. Oh, that's right. That's even worse. All right, guys, um, I've come to the conclusion that I personally, I, Kristen, AKA Naturally Venomous, cannot get the Dino Pet to work. Okay, just gonna say this. I couldn't get it to work. That doesn't necessarily mean it doesn't work. It just means I could not get it to work. Now, I could have done like a million things wrong, and if you got it to work, or you know someone who has, or you watch their video, you can kindly tell me what I did wrong. There's no need for, oh my god, you're so dumb, you did it wrong. Or, oh my god, you didn't read the instructions. Because I read the instructions like six times. So, shh. There's no need to be mean. Just tell me what I did wrong. I am very upset this thing doesn't work. I am very, very, very upset. I spent $80 on this thing. $80! That's a lot of money to just throw away. I can't return it because I already destroyed the box. So I threw away 80 bucks. Whatever, you live and you learn. Whatever. Maybe I can fix it. Maybe I can save it. If you have any advice, let me know. So yeah, couldn't get the Dino Pack to work. Whatever. I was thinking of doing two trial and error videos for the month of June. What do you think? Because I just bought this product, which I thought was really interesting and I really want to test it out, but I don't want to wait a whole nother month to test it out. So are you guys okay with a second trial and error video this month? I hope so. That would be rad. If you liked this video or any of my other 90 something videos, give them a thumbs up. Let me know you like them. That is the easiest way for me to know that you like my content and you think I should make more of them unless you actually want to go in and type out, hey, I love this video, which is also greatly appreciated. You could also subscribe to my YouTube channel. That is youtube.com slash naturally venomous. You could also follow me on Instagram at Naturally Venomous and little teeny, teeny tiny story, teeny tiny story. I was going to sign up for Twitter, okay? I was gonna sign up for Twitter. So I type in the username I wanted to make and my password and it came up that that username was already existing. It turns out I made a Twitter back in 2013 under Naturally Venomous. Actually, I think it was Naturally Venom. But it, I never used it so they shut it down. So I just have to like reactivate it and everything. And once I do, I will be, I think at Naturally Venom on Twitter. I don't entirely remember right now because it's been a couple, couple weeks since I looked. Um, I also would just like to say I now have 1,220 close friends, also known as subscribers. I don't like saying subscribers because that is so like, eh. I like saying close friends because you guys are my friends. And I just want to thank you for subscribing, for being my friend, for being there for me, and in turn, I want to be there for you. I take a buttload of different video suggestions, leave them in the comment section of any video, and I will consider doing them. That is my way of saying thank you. Friends are there for friends, friends entertain friends. So yeah, it's late, and I gotta go eat my ice cream. So I will see you guys next week. Oh wait, this is Kristen signing off. <laughs> I was like, how do I do my outro? I don't even remember. I just want ice cream really bad. Ice cream.